Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I am the creator behind Missouri Makes. Today I am going to show you how to make a crochet heart. I had planned on doing this video for Valentine's Day, which is coming up really close. And so I thought I'd show you how to make this. You can block these so that they lay more flat. That shape right there does not bother me so I'm going to keep mine the way it is plus I plan to make this into a garland so it's not going to make a whole lot of difference for me personally if you plan on doing something else with this then you may want to block them but I'm going I'm going to keep mine as is um, I have not woven in my ends but this is what it looks like now, what you're going to need to make it is a size J 6mm crochet hook and your choice of a 4 weight yarn. I am currently using Red Heart Ombre in the colorway Anemone. A N E M O N E. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm using and I am just using a 6 millimeter crochet hook. You can use whatever yarn you want with the matching hook to go with it to make this. You'll just have to remember the size and the amount of yarn you use will change. But essentially this is a pattern that you can use any yarn with. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I'm going to move that aside and we're going to get started. Now, to start this, I take and create a magic ring, ma magic loop, whatever you want to call it. And the way I do this is I have my two fingers with the working yarn on my ring finger and my thumb that controls the tension. I take and wrap it over the top of my two fingers, under the two fingers, and back on top. So I have two strands on top. I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to go under the first loop, over the second loop, pull through, give it a twist, and then I'm going to take this working yarn here. I'm going to pull through and it's going to create a loop. And then you can work in your magic ring as many stitches as you need and it's not going to come apart as long as you're not rough with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 10 double crochets into this magic ring, making sure that I crochet over the top of this strand here. Two. Oh, I pulled on it a little too much. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then you take this loop here, pull on it, and it cinches that hole closed so that it's not visible anymore. Now to figure out where you're supposed to slip stitch, which would be your first double crochet, what you're going to do is you're going to count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and there's your loop that you're going to slip stitch into. So, put your hook back through the loop and insert your hook into that first stitch that you created, which is the double crochet. Pull up a loop, oops, pull up a loop and slip stitch to it and you have completed round one. 
Now to start round two, which is your last round for your heart, you're going to chain two, and then you're going to yarn over twice and place a triple crochet into that same stitch. Now you're going to place seven more triple crochets into that same stitch. So one, that's two, three, four, oh, I did that wrong, four, five, six, seven. So you should have a total of eight triple crochets in this spot. Let's go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we are going to skip this stitch here. It's kind of hidden in these triples. But there's a stitch there. We're going to skip it and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Just like that. And then we're going to triple crochet eight times in the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's count them to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to do the same thing as we did last time and skip that stitch there. Slip stitch. Now we are going to single crochet into that stitch. So what we did is we put eight triples in this stitch here. We skipped a stitch and single crocheted into the next stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch twice. You'll slip stitch into the next two stitches. You'll chain three. One, two, three. And then this top of the slip stitch here, you're going to insert your hook into this loop, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, take this loop here and pull it through and you just made a pico. Okay, now we are going to slip stitch twice, one, Two. We are going to single crochet into the last stitch and then we will slip stitch to the first triple crochet that we made. And that is how we make the crocheted heart. Let's go on to make the crochet chain to make the garland. Alright, I am back with a whole bunch of strands here. I didn't take the time to weave in my ends before I started this next part of the video. So, I do have ends here that I will weave in before I hang up my garland. But, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. I started my garland chain and all I'm doing is a chain for mine. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to put a slip knot on your hook 
and you're going to chain 20. I did a chain of 20 that way I have enough chain to tie on to whatever I need to tie on if I have to tie or pin or whatever it is that I'm wanting to do I have enough if you think that you need more go ahead and chain as many as you like this will be your end here so you will be tying this or pinning it or however you're going to do this will be your end and now I tried to attach these different ways I tried attaching them here and here and to me it just kind of blurred and didn't look like a heart here so what I'm doing is I'm doing it to where they dangle like that and you see here I have just added another one now me myself and I I showed you how to make the one that I like the heart but I have multiple hearts here and they're all different shapes and sizes because I was playing to see what it is that I liked. I am not going to frog all these back and redo them and I'm not going to waste them. I like them. See they're cute. I like them but I just like this one better. So I'm just going to attach these on like I attach these and pretend they're all the same and not worry about it. Um, but I wanted to do it correctly on screen so that you would have the correct heart. But I do, I just wanted to point that out just in case you look at them and you're like, oh, those are a little bit different size. Yeah, they are. I have made several different ones. See how much smaller this one is to this one? There's several different sizes here. And I am not going to frog them out. I'm not going to do any of that. Now, the difference between this one here and this one, the reason why it's so much smaller, is this one, we did triple crochets. In this one, I did double crochets. It's the same exact pattern, just this is double crochets and this is triple. So if you want different sized hearts, that's something you can think about. This is double, this is triple. So, just something to kind of change things up if you want. Um, like I said, we did a chain of 20 to start, and I'm going to show you how to attach the hearts now. Let me get this untangled. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in so that things are a little bit easier to see. There we go. Let's go ahead. I'm going to chain 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now that's what I'm doing is I'm putting a chain of twenty in between each heart, a chain of twenty at the beginning, so it's an easy number to remember so you don't have to think oh I'm going to do five five chains before this one and ten chains no we're just going to do 20 they're spaced out decently and that way we can just keep going okay I've got my chain of 20 and I'm going to count one two three four there's the fourth I should have four on this four stitches on this side one two three four four stitches on this side one two three four I am going to insert my hook front to back in between those stitches and I'm going to slip stitch that onto the chain now we're going to chain 20 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to get some more yarn here. Alright, now I'll show you again. We got a heart here. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. You should have 4 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to insert my hook in between 
and I'm going to slip stitch that on and then do my chain. Let's zoom out, see what we got. And when you're done, your hearts should look like this. There you go. And that's all I do. And then when you're done adding all your hearts, chain another 20 or however many you started with at the beginning. And that way they're even on both sides. And then use your garland as you please. I don't know what I'm going to use mine for yet. Maybe I'll hang it up on my yarn shelf. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe I'll decorate my kitchen. I don't know. We shall see. But that is all you do. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you never miss another video tutorial from Missouri Mix. Y'all have a wonderful day.